Right then, um, another fend rod. I've just got down here and it's about borderline sun setting and uh, I'm coming out for the night. Um, I haven't been doing too well on here, but uh, maybe maybe night that will change. So, um, I suppose I'll speak to you when I'm set up. Uh, I've got nothing else to tell you at the moment, so um, I'll speak to you later. Alright then, ta -da. Right there, so I got the rods out. Um, picking off the two main features I fished to before. Got one, this little, just, well, camera's by there, there we are. There's a little post sticking up by there, and there's all sort of branches sticking around it. So I dropped it probably three meters in front of there, because I don't know how snaggy it is close up. Because I have, I haven't seen that tw twig there before, so there might be half a tree in there, you never know. Um, and I virtually, where that island is, dropped it in off the side there, and uh, that was a pretty close cast, so quite pretty piece of that. Um, there is a bit of uh, a siltweed problem, but there, so I put, uh, I threaded a bag down the down the actual rig over the hook. Um, I found the PVA foam. Yeah, it's good. It keeps it out, but. Does if you're leaving it overnight, well, if you leave it three or four hours, um, you're always going to get silk weed on the hook. You can't really do much about it. But I got the rods out, so there's every chance I can catch a fish now. Um, all I got to do now is slap the bivy up and uh, I get the bed up and make sure that I'm comfortable for the night. Um, so that even if I do blank, I get a good night's sleep so I can get to work in the morning. So. I shall see you later, I hope. All right then, ta -da. There we go, I'm all set up for the night. So, yeah, beds up, rods are out. Um, I've flicked uh, a good few baits out around where I've been, where I'm fishing. I say a good few, 30, 40 boilies. Um, so I'm, I'm making a dent in uh, in the bucket that Jay gave me. Um, so, yeah, the water has been gale force all day. This is probably going to come out a bit rubbish because the light's not amazing. The water's still, and there is a lot of little fish topping, and there has been a few carp crashing. There's one uh, probably outside my casting range. It's probably right on the right on the lip where it's blowing there. And that's probably well the length of the lake. Got to be around 120, 120 yards with with a bag on. You're not gonna. I'm not gonna get there anyway. So got uh, let's test this in night vision in the solar. So all the swans have uh, gone down that end of the lake for the night, so they can stay down there hopefully. Right. Leave me alone. Oh, you got the post there. Just a fish top in. I don't know. Because I've seen a fish crash in directly in front of me. Oops, the wrong way. Let's get that right back out. Yeah. Because um, I've seen, seen a fish cra crash in right out in the centre. I'm contemplating moving the one off the island. I've only actually seen one fish move off, crash off there, and there's a couple moving down that one. So I'll leave that where it is, I think. And maybe give it an hour, two hours. Um, well, I'll, I might prime a spot and flick a few boilies out in one spot, and then quite a big PVA bag and whack that in the middle. Um, well, all these little tactics uh, might might uh, might pull me out of fish. I don't know, but at least I got my bed up, and I'll get I'll have a half tidy night's sleep, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, I don't want it to be like last time where I. Uh, my alarm went off, I sort of opened my eyes, looked at it, and um, and as you do, there's no snooze on it, so you have to get up. And, um, yeah, I fell back asleep and opened my eyes, and um, it was a proper scramble to get everything back down and ready, and get it back into working on time. Well, I didn't get in, I eventually turned up at work at 9 o'clock, when I was hoping to be in around about 7. 
<laughs> so that wasn't very clever of me. But um, yeah, it's starting to get a bit dark now. But um, yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty confident. There's a good few fish showing. So let's just hope that um, it's not another wasted night trip. Alright then. Ta da! There we go. No nighttime action. So, packing up ready to go to work. Um, I had nothing. Um, I did have a few knocks and I was having knocks regularly through the night. I did check the rigs about four this morning um, and they were both totally caked in this like silt weed. Um, so, I, I just put them back out with other bags. I didn't put them out too far because I didn't want to sort of like tangle anything. Um, and again, and I brought them back in uh, about seven. Um, they were totally caked, so I just slung about now, just just for them to be out while I finish packing up. And um, yeah, I better get to work. I think um, so. They're not they're not worthwhile these uh, school night sessions at the moment, are they? But maybe maybe things will change. All right then. Uh, I better get to work, I gotta, I gotta finish packing up, so um, I'll see you at the next session. Alright then, ta da! Alright, so. I've only just got down here. I managed to throw a single rod out. I don't know. Just before I put the bivvy up. Um, so the bivvy's up, nothing's in it, it's starting to drizzle. So, I've got to get this stuff in there pretty quickly. Um, yeah, it's another quick overnight on the fend rod. It's um, bank holiday Monday tomorrow. Um, I've got a lot to do tomorrow because um, it's William's uh, first birthday on Tuesday. So, uh, I'm in charge of, of the food. Uh, so, we've invited a lot of kids around, so I'm going to have to be prepping lots of food uh, sandwiches, cakes, jellies, whatever. Um, I got, uh, so, that's my uh, duties tomorrow. So. Uh, in the interim, I've got um, I've got tonight, so hopefully I can't muster a few carp out. Um, the way things are going, I take a bream, I take a roach actually, um, I take anything. Uh, but, it's as good as any other night I've fished on here. Um, a couple of patches of lilies quite close in, I'm going to try and uh, focus on them, th throw a good tr chunk of bait right on top of them. Um, I'm going back to using the cell. Uh, mainly because I was having results on you, and I've given the the um, the end gauge three sessions, trying different things out, and um, I haven't had a pick up on them yet. So I'm going to go back to sell and maybe maybe fish just a single rod on the on the end gauge, and, and flick keep flicking up pellets on top of of the hook bait there. But um, yeah, I've got to get this sorted anyway. So drizzling. So I don't want everything to get soaked in. So um, uh, I'll speak to you later, yeah? Okay. And there we go. There's, uh, my two rods are out. Uh, it's fairly light. I think because it's uh, so foggy and... So... Well, it's raining. <laughs> uh, but the, it just seems to be... The sky's a lot lighter. Um, one thing, though. I have had a few, uh, well, I had a line out about 10 minutes ago on the right hand rod, which I put in right by the lilies. But, um, so it's, it's, it looks promising. Um, yeah, I wasn't too happy with the rigs I had in the, in the wallet. So I was playing with them, uh, a bit of fraying around the top swivel, and the hooks weren't as sharp as they well, didn't feel excessively sharp. So I've, I've retied all new rigs for all of that lot. I put one just virtually the same as the old ones were. Um, just new hooks, new swivel, new braid. And then I've tied a, a sort of stiff rig. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put the camera away now. It's uh, really quite heavily. I'm hiding underneath a tree. So it's, uh, so it's not too uh, bad, but I'm um, still getting splattered with the odd bit. All right then, um, hopefully I'll see you during the night. Uh, ta -da, then. Well, morning. Um, it's 
still pissing down outside. Oh, still raining quite heavily outside. Oh. Oh. God, I feel quite rough. It hadn't stopped raining all night. It was hammering down. Um, I had early on. I had that sort of proper liner, and then I had one pickup, and that was well. Just I just didn't connect with anything. Um, and then I had a couple of beeps early on. I'd uh, probably about five in the morning. Um, they didn't develop, so I just left them. <laughs> To be fair, with this, the rain was hammering down all night, and I, I hadn't got any sleep, and I'm pretty knackered now. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be packing up now so I can get things get things ready for t tomorrow. And uh, well, I'll have to just put this down to experience. So uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll probably do a, a lend, or I look a bit more awake because I look quite, <laughs> I look quite rough now. But uh, yeah, I'll do an end video. Uh, when I'm in the car probably when there's no rain hitting down. Alright then, uh, I'll speak to you soon. So, this is why I was getting runs. There's silt on there. This is why I was getting runs. I'm not connected with, it, with anything. This blanket wheat. Silt or whatever, silt weed. I still trace it on the hook. So, evil weed. There we go. It's a bit annoying. Ooh, I look a bit more awake now, anyway. Um, yeah. Another blank for me on the fender rod. Um, it's just, it's one in a long line. But, uh, one sort of entertainment I had for, for the day. Uh, just after I finished packing up, I went over to see if uh, the guys along from me had, had anything. And um, Tim, the, one of the bailiffs of the lake, um, uh, was hooked into a fish as I, as I walked up to him. And um, it was a fish that you've seen on the blog a couple of well, last year, uh, Lumpy. And it's now pushing 27.10. So uh, well done, Tim. Um, that was. That was Pretty impressive fish, and possibly the biggest fish in the lake at the moment. Um, maybe, maybe there's one level in it, or around about the same size. But um, that's that a pretty good achievement for this lake. Um, yeah, so that's that's it for this session. Um, it's going to be the first time I've had to sort of strategically hang everything out to dry, so every, so it all dries in the shed for a long while. Um, so I haven't had a bad run weather-wise. Just it would have been nicer if it stayed dry. It always is, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't know what when I'll next be out. It probably might not be next week, but maybe the week after. We'll see. All right then. Ta-da.